Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I do apologize for being away for so long. However, I am now back on the daily videos again. Um, it has been a while since I uploaded a video on the kernel executor, so that's what we'll be doing today. Um, so of course, make sure you're on Windows 10 or 11 before trying to download kernel. Um, the very first thing you need to do if you're on Windows 10 is go over into this bottom left corner and there should be a Windows icon. Click on that. On Windows 11, it's right here. And then go ahead and search for virus and threat protection and open this up right here. And then go into manage settings. Uh, if you don't see an option like this, that means you have another antivirus installed on your computer. So you need to disable that. Uh, and then go into manage settings and make sure you turn off real time protection. You will be able to turn this back on later. But for now, make sure you have this off. I will tell you when you can turn it back on again. Once you have done that, you can go into the description below and get the download for the kernel executor. It should be at the very top since this is the latest video as of right now. Um, but if it's not here, then you can go ahead and search for kernel and pick the one that is over on this side since that is the latest one. Uh, then go ahead and click on download and follow the instructions to download the kernel executor. Um, you will also need WinRAR, which is a free application. If you don't already have it installed, um, you can find it in the description below. So once you do go, go over onto the website, just go ahead and click on this. And then you can choose your download location and click on save. And then simply just follow the instructions to download it from there. Once you have done all of that, you can go ahead and double click on kernel underscore beta. And it will go ahead and open up kernel for you. Um, over here, it might for the first time launching it might ask you to register you can go ahead and do that it's very simple uh, and then once you have opened it up you can click on this little plus and you'll be able to paste your own scripts in here you've also got the preferences so you got auto attach so you don't have to inject every time you go into a new roblox game normally you have to click this inject button before you can paste your script in uh, when you do inject it will ask you for a key and there is a link on how to get the key um, which will pop up as soon as you click inject. But for now, I can't really do that because I'm not in a Roblox game. So you need to be in a Roblox game first before you can click inject. You go ahead and paste your script in here and you can simply go ahead and execute from over here. And that will execute your script into the game. Now, when it comes to turning your virus and threat protection back on, go ahead and scroll down and go on to add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click on add exclusion, choose file, choose desktop, and then go ahead and find where you have the kernel executor. So for me, I can just search it. So kernel, kernel underscore beta dot exe. Go ahead and click enter and it will go ahead and add it over here. So once it has added it, you can go back and turn on your real time protection. The reason you do that is because normally kernel will get deleted as soon as you double click it to launch it um, because it's not a verified application. But once you do approve it like that, you can see it still says virus found, but it's not really a virus. You can simply click here, click on allow on device and click start. And then if you try reopening kernel again, it should go ahead and open fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you download the kernel executor guys. If you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below, or you can join our discord server for faster replies, which will also be linked in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. I will make another video tomorrow. As promised, I will be back on the daily videos uh, and yeah, take care. Thank you.